Hello, I'm Claire. And I'm Lisa, and we are the Home Energy Team at East Cambridge District Council. Today, we are going to give energy advice on keeping warm, saving energy means saving money, and what help is out there. We're also going to talk to you about grant funding that is available to help improve energy efficiency in your home. Keeping well and keeping warm. Cold temperatures have had an impact on our health, but there are other risks of, in winter, including physical injuries from slips, trips and falls. As we get older, it becomes harder for our bodies to detect how cold we are and it can take longer to warm up, which can be bad for our health. The longer the exposure to the cold, the more we are at risk of accidents at home due to the loss of dexterity in our hands, pneumonia, depression, increased pain through arthritis, trips and falls, and potential heart attacks. Some of us are more vulnerable to the effects of cold. People aged 65 and over. Children and babies under the age of five. Pregnant women. People who have a disability. People who have a long term health condition. People who have mental health conditions people on a low income who often can't afford to pay their energy bills. Keeping warm and active. It is important to keep warm in winter, both inside and outdoors. Keeping warm can help prevent colds, flu and more serious health problems. Eating regularly helps you keep warm, so try to have at least one hot meal a day along with regular hot drinks. Keep your house warm and your bedroom window closed, especially on cold winter nights. Breathing cold air can be bad for your health as it increases the risk of chest infections. And if you're heading outside for a walk or maybe some gardening, wear numerous layers of light clothes. Remember, lots of thin layers of clothing will, heap you, will keep you warmer than one thick layer as the layers trap warm air. Keep moving. Try not to sit still for more than an hour at a time. A little bit of activity now and then can help you maintain strength and mobility. Do what you are comfortable with and build up your resilience gradually. Then you will be able to keep yourself motivated to keep going. Being active could mean time for a long walk or some simple exercises while sitting in a chair to get the blood flowing and warming you up. And don't forget to eat regularly. Some days you may get the feeling that you can't be bothered to prepare your meals. Eat whatever you can, when you can, even if it's a snack or some fruit. You need to eat to build energy to keep warm. Keeping warm. It is recommended that your main living area should be around 21 degrees to keep you warm and comfortable. Other rooms should be around 18 degrees. Having thermostatic valves on your radiators can help in regulating the temperature for that particular room. Do not increase the temperature on your room stat if you're sitting in a t-shirt. Put on a jumper or a cardigan as it is far cheaper than adding to the cost of your energy bill. And at night time, put an extra blanket on the bed. And how about a pair of bed socks to keep those tootsies warm? The little things that can cost a lot. Keeping your energy bills low is a priority for everyone. And here are a few simple and effective ways to reduce your bills. When you make a cup of tea, only boil the kettle with the amount of water you need. Boiling two cups of water each time compared to a full kettle can save you up to £13 per year. 90% of a washing machine's energy expenditure is spent heating the water. So if you wash your clothes at 30 or 40 degrees, you're saving a significant amount of money. 
Air dry your laundry rather than tumble drying it, particularly if the weather is warm or windy. And leaving appliances on standby costs an average of £45 per year. So when you go to bed at night, make sure all the plugs are switched off. Keep the heat in by properly draft proofing your home. Draft tape around windows and draft excluders for doors will prevent cold air coming in, as well as closing curtains and blinds at dusk. Draft proofing can save an average of £25 a year. Leaving lights on can cost up to £13 a year on your electricity bill, so remember to switch off lights when you leave a room. And switching your bulbs to LED this could save you £3 per bulb per year. Replacing all the bulbs in your home can save on average £35. Are you struggling to pay your bills or scared to put on your heating? Many people are in the position at the moment where they can't afford their heating and they're scared to put it on because of costs being so high. If you're struggling with your energy bills, Contact your energy supplier as soon as possible and they will work with you to find solutions to payment difficulties. And energy suppliers have payment plans to help those that are in debt. Be honest in what you can afford. Do not overestimate what you can pay and then miss your payments. Be realistic in what can you afford on a weekly basis. If you have children under the age of 16, your supplier will not knowingly disconnect your supply during the winter and during the summer, the same would apply if you have children under the age of five. Energy companies also have a priority services register for those that are considered vulnerable for reasons where you may need more support. The Home Energy Team are here to help you. We are here to provide support and advice on energy related matters. We can suggest ways to be more energy efficient and support you in finding the best tariff for your electricity and gas. We can act on your behalf if you have difficulty dealing with your energy company. And there are charities out there and other partners who we work with that are able to advise on debt management and any grant funding that may be available for you. And these, these include Step Change, PECT, Turn to Us and the NEA Advice Line. We can identify agencies who may be able to support those in fuel poverty with one-off grant payments for gas, electric and oil. Energy efficiency. Did you know that heat is lost from a property in several ways? If you do not have cavity wall or loft insulation, Heat you have generated can escape through the walls and the roof. And a typical three bedroom uninsulated property, warm energy escapes at a rate of 35% through the walls, through lack of wall insulation, 25% through the roof where there is no loft insulation, and 40% through windows, floors and doors, through drafts, ill-fitting windows, and uninsulated floors. Here in East Cambridgeshire, we have secured some government grant funding to help improve these matters. If you are a private homeowner or rent privately, you can contact us to check your eligibility. The criteria is based on income, so household incomes of below £30,000 a year and the energy inefficiency of your home. We can check this if you have an energy performance certificate or failing that, we can arrange for a survey. If you're interested to know more, please contact us on 01353 665555. Thank you for listening to our presentation about how to stay warm and well this winter. It is really important that we all stay active and mobile and that we are eating regularly even if it's small snacks throughout the day, if you can't manage a big meal. We here in the Home Energy team are very conscious that the increasing cost of energy is a big concern for everyone at the moment, but it is important that you keep your home warm. 
being cold can have a negative impact on the health of both children and adults, and particularly if you are already suffering from illnesses or disabilities that are made worse in cold temperatures or are not very mobile. If you are worried about paying your energy bills, are in debt with your energy provider, or want advice on how to improve the energy efficiency of your home and possible grant funding opportunities, please call our customer service team here at the Council on 01353 665555 and ask to speak to the Home Energy team.